Alrighty, people, this episode of Only Stance is presented by Mango RX. And when we're using Mango, you gotta think Mango. It is a brand new kind of men's health company. Our mango flavored rapid dissolving pill is expertly formulated with tadalafil or, or sildenafil, oxytocin, which is the love hormone, which is the love hormone and L arginine, which will help you get in the mood and stay in that mood while you and your partner are getting it on. Mango's work in 10 minutes or less compared to traditional ED medications that can take up to an hour. Obviously, 10 minutes or less compared to 60 minutes. I'm going to take 10 minutes or less. This is a 100% online ordering process with a free medical consultation. These things are individually packaged for when you're on the go because you're the one who doesn't love a road game. And um, yeah, this is discreet shipping for your privacy to your house. So it's a home run. 10 minutes or less. Great for road games. Discreet shipping. No one's got to see you're getting it. So just think, fellas. When it's go time, think it's mango time. When things are getting hot and heavy and you can't afford to wait an hour for that little blue kill to pick in, mango is what you're going to go to. Mango's rapidly dissolving tablet will hit the bloodstream before you hit the sheets. Obviously. It works in as fast as 10 minutes and lasts up to 36 hours. That's a day and a half in my calculations. Literally a day and a half. Head over to MangoRx.com and order today using code OnlyStands at checkout for a discount. Once again, go to MangoRx.com and order today using code OnlyStands at checkout for a discount. Trust us, you and your partner are going to love it. Check it out. I mean, everything I said. Look at those statistics. You can't argue those statistics. MangoRx right now. Get in there. Okay, folks, we got a new episode of Only Stands today. We're recording this on a Friday. It's very rare that a person gets me to record on a Friday, but you know when you have just a legend on the silver screen, a legend in the game here, sitting in a seat in a beautiful black, is that sequin, a sequin dress, maybe? Sequin? Is it sequin? Uh, you could call it sequin if you want to, what I guess. Um, I think it's like spandex, actually. It's a black spandex dress, the one and only Savannah Bond here. <laughs> Huge fan of your work. Happy to have you here. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, hey, what is the first thing I texted you? I can't remember. You're a fan of your work. <laughs> okay, great. Huge I'm glad. Fan. Yeah, I'm, I, actually, I'm kind of kidding. I haven't watched too much of it, but I do love it. Oh, I'm so offended. I, I know last time, last time Kaylee was here, because we have Kaylee Gunner here. She's just sitting off to the side here, a former guest. We love Kaylee. Bestie, she, um, chilling. <laughs> when she was here, she kept telling me, we got to get, get Savannah Bond on. We got to get Savannah Bond on. We got to get Savannah Bond on. And I was like, it was a hard push. Sounds good to me. And then one day, just one day, I saw you just post an Instagram story. I was like, fuck, we got to get Savannah Bond on. Yeah. We got to get Bond on. So we're here after you canceled on us two weeks ago as well. I had the flu. That's a fair excuse. Possibly COVID. Did you figure out which one it was? No. COVID's kind of back now. Yeah, I know. That's why I think I had it. Mm -hmm. It's like hot this time around. Yeah. (laughs) Get the masks out again. You want to put a mask on for the interview? Oh, yeah. Did you ever do that? No, surely not. We had the mask in New York. Oh, yeah, that was, like, hardcore, right? Yeah, New York was hardcore. We had to throw the masks on. Yeah. I got, I got vaxxed. Yeah, same, unfortunately. Yeah, I got, I got one. I got one. I got Johnson & Johnson. Oh, shit. That's why you're like this. Yeah, that's why I'm, like, <laughs> that's why I'm a fucking weird, weird fucker, because they Johnson & Johnson. You know, they actually, I got it without them telling me it was Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, I'm a fan. I literally girl. went to the pharmacy. They stabbed me, and then I was like, hey, do I got to come back in two weeks for the other one? And they said, no, we just Johnson & Johnson you. Yeah, I was like waiting to die off the mine. It was yeah. stressful. And I was just like, hey, as soon as as long as I get the car to go to the bar, I'm good. <laughs> straight to the bar. I was straight to the bar. It was amazing. But um, yeah, we're here uh, hanging out. We just had, went to the Museum of Sex, and now we're here to do a little interview. We're going to begin this interview with uh, my favorite question. My first question that I ask every guest. I already know the answer, but I'm still going to ask you anyway. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. Yeah. The land I'm down from under. Australia, Melbourne. You're from Melbourne? Melbourne, yeah. Is that near the Northern Territory? No, it's way away from there. Is Melbourne like near the, the uh, is that near Sydney, Australia? Uh, it's like a, an hour flight. An hour flight? Yeah. East, west? Your accent is just phenomenal. I try. But it? I said I try. <laughs> I, I try, mate. Want to go catching crocs in the Northern Territory soon? <laughs> Absolutely. You want know, second Australian guest we found on the show? Oh. Angela White was the first. Yes. Most Australian. Amazing. Have you guys done an Australian pornography yet together? We have. We've done multiple. Was it with an Australian man? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Crikey. Do you feel like he was Australian? He was British. When I, I, didn't, British. I didn't watch it. Who was oh, it? Oh, you should. Kieran Lee? Oh, legend. We love Kieran Lee. Yeah, great guy. Yeah. But um, you guys definitely should definitely top. do an Australian, all Australian porn. What? You guys should do like an all Australian porn. Oh, like get the flag out and like. Hey, they shoot it there, make, make it authentic. You know, like, <laughs> know. You, know, you know they shoot Seinfeld in get LA. The kangaroos you know out. they shoot Seinfeld with friends in LA. It can't be that. Like, it has to be shot in Australia. Get like the biggest Australian porn star <laughs> sponsored by Outback Steakhouse. Eating Vegemite off each other. The whole nine. <laughs> Maybe some crocodiles. Have a kangaroo hop in at some point. I just think you guys should think about it. Yeah, that's it would a be good. good it would be good for the country's morale. Good scenario. Yeah, we make them proud. There's not many of us, so... Who's on your uh, Australian Mount Rushmore? Rushmore? Your Mount Rushmore of Australians. What do you mean? So in America, we have a Mount Rushmore. 
Okay. It's four presidents, four like founding fathers. It's oh. they're um chipped into the side of a mountain in I believe North or South Dakota. I have no idea. So a Mount Rushmore is your four icons. So who's the I mean, who's in your Australian Mount Rushmore? Icons is in like celebrity type people. Yeah, if you, or, like people you, I the look four up most to. important Australians in your mind. Oh, I honestly can't think of it. Like I don't know. Russell Crowe. No, I'm not really like a fan like that. Chris Hemsworth. Ha- yeah, no, like none of them. Oh, I do like uh, Margot Robbie. She just Margot did the Robbie, Barbie, yes. Barbie movie. She's she pretty cool. Movie? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it yet? No. What kind of an Australian are you? <sighs> I know. Well, everyone was like, I'm wearing pink to see the Barbie movie. And I was like, that's just not my vibe. But everyone thought I would see it because they're like, oh, you look like Barbie. And I'm like. Do people tell you you look like Barbie? A little. Is it the blonde hair and big I breasts? I think it might be the blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, you have blue eyes? You didn't notice my eyes? I don't have blue eyes. <laughs> They're your, blue. Your eyes are like gray. <laughs> insult. That's not an insult. They're beautiful eyes. Those are gray eyes. They're not They're blue. blue. Eyes. You can see They look blue, blue on the TV, which is kind of fucked they're up. They're blue, I'm... okay? Ocean blue. Those are gray eyes. <gasps> okay, they're gray. Those are not blue eyes. Maybe they're gray in New York. Like they're not like this color blue. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? Why are you getting mad at me? It's Because I want them to be blue. Unless I'm colorblind. Those are gray eyes. Yeah, okay, gray. That's cool. Unique. Yeah, yeah it's unique. How many people have gray eyes? What color are my eyes? Um, hazel? Brown? Yes. I think brown <laughs> and hazel are the same thing. You see me getting all angry over my brown eyes? No. Exactly. Never angry. Never. We had a good day so far. Yeah, it was really fun, actually. I laughed a lot. You guys want to hear something crazy before you get into this interview? At the Museum of Sex, they had a dick-grabbing competition, and I beat Savannah Bond in it. Yeah, he did. But... I don't know if I should be proud of that, but I did. <laughs> And that was really weird. Like, who who pulls dicks? Like, it was just like... Oh, I was pulling those dicks like it was nobody's business. <laughs> I was going up hard for the dick, down down for the dick everywhere. It was insane. Yeah, it was fun. If I ever went into your business, you'd be worried. You should be worried. I'm better yeah, grabbing dicks than you. I'm concerned for myself. I'm going to be out on the street soon. I know. Especially when I get in there. It's like, it's like, it's like how Tom Brady must have felt when Patrick Mahomes came up in the NFL, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Slips. Exactly. So, hey, uh, this show is called OnlyFans. Let's, let's do some OnlyFans talk. Okay. You're on OnlyFans, right? <laughs> yes. How long have you been Absolutely. doing that? Absolutely. Um, I've been doing it since, like, since it started, like, 2017, 2018. Is that how you guys say dates? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we do the time how do you and say the, the year? How do you say the year before 210? 2-9. <laughs> what about the year before 2-0? 1990, 1999. <laughs> Fuck. So you put a new in, you put a new uh, a new table system for the 2000s, huh? Well, actually, I think like most of the world use that date. Yeah, well, you're in America right now. Okay, I should just Americanize myself. Should I change my accent? Can you do an American accent? Yeah, totally. Give us, give us, uh, say the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog in an American accent. The quick brown fox dropped over. <laughs> Jumped over the... The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The, no, that's too much to remember. It's one of the only sentences in the English language that has every alphabet in it. Every uh, that's why I can't do it. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over... Jumped over... The, fuck, I'm done. You say jumped over the lazy dog. Jumped over the lazy dog. You do a good American Whoa. accent. That was cool. <laughs> Wild. Yeah. It's not every day you get some out of bond with an Australian accent. It's pretty easy. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, mate. That's British. That was British. Mate. Fuck. That's I've, mess, British. I've messed it up. <laughs> I've been messing up British and American and English too. Australian. Got, wait, let me get to my let me go to my yeah, you get Let me get, in, in let me get to my character. Let me do my method acting. Yeah. Good night, mate. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog, mate. That was good. <laughs> ten out of ten. I want to go back to English. But yeah, no, I've been I've been messing up my British and Australian. You were doing I, Australian really good all day. I think the podcast has got you nervous. Yeah, and I just I just crumble under the bright lights, you know. Yeah, same. Yeah. So you've been doing OnlyFans <laughs> since 2017? Probably 2018, but so yeah. 2018. A while. Okay, and um, what have you been doing on there? Because let's, let's call a spade a spade. Yeah. You're more of a porn star than an OnlyFans girl. Yeah, I, I would say, say so. say that correctly. Correct? Yeah. Than a creator. What's the difference? Let's make a Venn diagram. Um, porn I... star, OnlyFans, queen, middle. I guess like I shoot professional mainstream porn. And that's on the right side of the Venn diagram. Mm-hmm. What else is on the porn side of the Venn diagram? Just porn, I guess. Then what's in the middle between porn and OnlyFans girl? Um, I don't know what would be in the middle. I guess it's like... Do you do like exclusive POV iPhone stuff on OnlyFans? Yeah. Uh, like everything. I like to have variety. In the middle of the Venn diagram. Mm-hmm. 
But yeah, I'm leaning a lot more to OnlyFans lately because it makes sense to do that. Seems like you make a lot more money on OnlyFans. Yeah. 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 But I like shooting professionally still. So you're still doing the whole professional shooting? Uh, not half as much. Maybe le- like not not much at all actually. Um, so this is August of 2023. How much have you been doing this year? Um. Well, I used to shoot like four scenes a week. Now I probably do like two a month. Four scenes a week. So how many? How long is a scene? Uh, will you be on set for anything from like five to eight hours? Is a scene a whole movie? It, it depends on what you're doing, what type of scene. Like you might have acting in the scene or it might be just like straight gonzo let's say let's say you're shooting inspector gadget eight you and kieran lee <sighs> and you're shooting a scene for the day how long are you shooting for that day uh well i never really did much of that like they kind of hire me to just like fuck really they hire you to scan in yeah, there and get the, out i'm you're not like, like in the whole acting part of okay. it so you're saying five hours a scene a week four scenes a week you're doing 20 hours of sex a week no, the sex is only probably like 30 minutes, maybe an so hour So you're doing max. 120 minutes of sex a week? The rest is like 120, yeah, which I do miss that. Who wouldn't? Yeah, I'm like, wow, like we were talking about earlier, I'm like, I feel like so different not having sex all the time. Like kind of like angry. Yes, you told me you're on a month celibacy? <laughs> no, I'm not on a celibacy. You told me you're a month celibate. Well, it just worked out that way. But you're a month celibate. Yeah, I guess so. But I'm not, like, going celibate for Yeah, them. but you're just coincidentally a month celibate. Mm. So how, how's the month been? You've, you've been enjoying the finer things in life, like looking at the sky, well, the smell of grass. Well, yeah, I would always do normal stuff regardless, but I don't like it. Like, sex is really important to me. I feel um, like it's like a form of therapy. Honestly, like, I feel good after. I think people are meant to have sex a lot. I agree. We've said on the show, I feel like the, really the two points of life is laughing and coming. And love. And love. That is... We'll do three. That's a Venn diagram. Like, yeah. love is in the middle of laughing and coming. You're only in love with somebody that makes you laugh and makes you come, right? Yeah. How about that? Yeah. Nice. We're going have to put that Venn diagram shirt on sale. Yeah. Love, love yes. in the middle, laugh, come. That's that's, that's a new motto of OnlyStance. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. But either way, that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to find somebody that will make you laugh and come at the same time. So, it's a whole interesting thing there for Bond. But, I mean, yeah, you're in a, you're in a month celibacy right now. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. How's it's it been going? Bad. It's not good. Like, last night I was trying to sleep, and I was like, I just need to be fucked. You could like, probably find somebody that's willing to fuck you. I know, I can. Very you easily, obviously. But this is the thing. I'm very selective. Mm-hmm. What, what's in your criteria? Oh, uh, there's no criteria. It's just, like, if I vibe with a person, I like to have a connection. I can't just be like, yeah, come over and fuck me. Like, it just doesn't Okay, work. meet a guy on Tinder and say, oh, come over and fuck. No dating apps for me. No dating apps? Not even Raya? <laughs> Hey, you're on Raya. Gail. Oh. Yeah, she's on Raya. No. She's on Raya. No, I'm not. She's on Raya. I've been on the wait list for seven years. Really? Yeah, they won't let me on. I don't think I'm hot enough. It's fucked up. It's yeah, pretty fucked up. No, no, no dating apps. I actually, like, Instagram is really good for girls because you get a lot of DMs. So that's how I feel like a lot of girls meet guys. You've been getting some DMs recently? Um. Yeah, all the time. Who's been DMing you? Uh, n- I wouldn't, like, <laughs> I wouldn't say names. Just get random guys? Yeah. Yeah. Any, any good DMs recently? Anyone that caught your eye? Yeah, I probably get like one good one a week, to be honest. But still, like, I kind of like to talk to people for a long time and then be like, maybe. It's like a um, whole process, like a six-month yeah. interview. Feels like I'm getting into a selective private Catholic school, you know? Yeah. You got to pass the address exams. Yeah. Then you got to get put into your track. Pretty and then much. maybe you could graduate four years later. <laughs> Unless, like, sometimes you'll just, like, have, like, an amazing spark right away. That can happen, an but I thought that's rare. Oh, spark. Spark. Oh, of course. Yeah. I, I you guys say spark accent. in America? I didn't understand what the accent. I didn't understand the spark. Spark. <laughs> when was the last time you had a spark with somebody? Um, Kind of a lot lately. Oh, really? Yeah. What'd you guys do? Fucked. How'd you guys meet? Instagram. Where'd you guys meet up for? Did you go to dinner first? No. It See, that's... Straight to the, how do you have a spark over... Uh, how do you have a virtual spark? So you know so, what you want to fuck with a virtual spark. You, like, talk to them. And, like, sometimes you just know. And a lot of guys will say, let's go to dinner first. But for me, that's, like, so raw. I'm like... Yeah, what, what asshole is trying to take If I really first? like Disgusting. you, I'm like, just come to my house and I'll have sex with you. And then we could go to dinner. Because, I don't know, I just, like, do it backwards. That's right now. Maybe I need that. You're, interesting. You're an interesting cat there, Bond. Not many girls like that. Yeah. I like your vibe. Yeah, because, like, if the sex is bad, I don't want to... At least you get a free meal out of it, though. 
Yeah, but I can buy my own food. Yeah, I, I get that, but I mean, still, the chivalrous thing to do is to go to dinner first. Yeah, I feel like I need to change that. Maybe I should. Maybe you should, because then you could vibe over dinner. Like maybe you maybe you vibe over Instagram, but then what if you don't vibe at, in person? You know. Yeah, that's a very good point. It's something to think about. Therapy with Glenny. So now I just got some random stuff I want to ask you. Okay. <laughs> just some random stuff I read about you. I did some research on Savannah Bond. Oh. <laughs> um, I saw you and uh, you you've done a few girl girl boy threesomes in your day. I've seen a few with you and Kaylee and them actually. So um. How do you guys know when to make the moves during a threesome? How do you guys know when to go where? Is there a choreography? Um, honestly, like all my scenes, if I can, it's like very organic and natural. It just goes with the flow. I'm not thinking about like, oh, should I do this or whatever. I just like live in the moment. That's my thing for sure. Mm -hmm. Like I, I try and be a as natural. natural as possible. Yeah, like I'm not overthinking it. Do you have any uh, signature moves? Hmm. I mean, when I'm shooting, like, a lot of the directors, they like, like, when it's, like, cowgirl, because they like to see my ass. Your ass, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you want, they like you want the, the reverse boobs, cowgirl too. in the ass, or? Pardon? Reverse cowgirl, or cowgirl straight? Uh, like, straight cowgirl, more so. Because they're seeing the ass. Yeah, I can do reverse cowgirl. I'm not as good, because they like to see the mm. boobs. But when you have a big butt, doing reverse cowgirl is hard, because, like, you're on the back of the guy, and then your butt is, like, big and in the way. So it kind of works better for, like, skinny girls, I feel. Mm -hmm. See, I can see it. Yeah. Hey, the struggle of having a big ass. Well, yeah. Like, so if you're trying to do reverse cowgirl at home, like, it's not as easy as you think. So when you're free time, you're not doing much reverse cowgirl? Absolutely not. Wow. Yeah. I what? mean, maybe for, like, 10 seconds, but... It's 10 second max. It looks One, really good on camera, two, though. Like, it does. Three, I think. four, five, and then we're six, all... seven, That's too eight, missionary. nine, ten. Back to missionary. <laughs> yeah. So when you're, uh, when you're... Getting it on your free time, you a missionary type of gal? Um, I like to do like a lot of positions. I really like spoon, missionary, what is spoon? doggy, a spoon. What's spoon? So like I'll be like this with my leg up and then the guy's behind me. Okay, so then and then you put your face really close to that. Oh, that's so, so romantic. romantic. Oh my god. I know. I love when we get into romance on this and show. And then can like choke you and talk to you. Oh yeah, this is a choking a necessity. Pardon? Is choking a necessity? No, absolutely not. It seemed like you're into choking, the way you just said that. I like I it, know. yeah. Not like anything crazy, but it feels good. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of rumors that you have to like hold the girl on the sides of her neck when you're choking her. Yeah, like So your high. thumb doesn't crush your windpipe. Is that true? Yeah, you I've heard, a lot, I've heard a lot of guys fuck that up. Yeah, it can really hurt if you're not doing it properly. Have you ever had a bad experience like that? Yeah, I'm like, oh, fuck, it hurts. So I'll just like grab their wrist and be like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because they'll put like the thumb straight up here and that's, that's no good. Yeah, you, you know side. how to do it. Yeah, so I'm saying you said you grab on the side, so your thumb isn't here on the yeah, window. Yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm just saying, I heard a lot do of guys Do you like doing it, it? No, I don't want to. I, I, I have big hands. It scares me. That's good, though. Large hands. Good for fingering. Paws. Nice. We try. You got any fingering tips for the fellows while we're here? Just absolutely do it. Because... I, I, feel, like, I feel like that's not how we no should be doing it. No one does it. It never happens in porn. What do you mean? Oh, I'm saying you're just saying do fingering in general. Yeah, I really like it personally. Yeah. Do you have any fingering tips though? Like what, what what motions to go through? Angela White told me we should finger with our palms. Do you have any any tips coming from Savannah Bond? Uh, no, that's like more of an external thing, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, Like inside, I like it. Everyone says you got to do like a scoop. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. So you're, just, you're just, it's like dancing. I'll just be like, do it harder, I'll do it harder. I'll like, I'll yeah, try yeah. and like tell them what I want them to do. Or like, cool. I'll say like, don't stop. Which means don't, don't stop. stop till you get enough. Keep on. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, underrated for sure. Fingering? I feel, yeah. Pick one right now. Fingering or conolingus for the rest of your life. You only pick one. What's conolingus? Go down on the chick. Oh, no. Learn, learn, learn your definitions, dude. Fuck. <laughs> learn your terminology. This is, this is your profession. Out. Get the Bible This is your out. profession. <laughs> it's like an NBA player not knowing what, not a, knowing what a jump is. shot is. <laughs> um, that's a pretty, like, nerdy terminology, though, right? Like, that's the scientific terminology. It's like eating pussy. I know what that is. No, well, here we say I'm conolingus. I'm not a scientist. Here okay. we say conolingus. <laughs> um, fingering drop. for yeah. sure. <laughs> fingering for fingering sure. Fingering over, over. A hundred percent. Eating pussy. Wow. Yeah. What a day for fingering, huh? Yep. What a Friday for fingering. Okay. Oh, God. Stop. Hey, before we I keep moving it. on on these... What? I need it. Just go find a guy on the street. <laughs> get, get on Raya. You have Raya. It's that easy. You have Raya. There's um, a lot of attractive men in New York, though, I did notice. Yeah, of course. We got attractive guys. Guys from all over the world. Variety. We love variety. 
Hey, I'm, I'm just checking out. Uh, you had a big AVN spread on you. A whole thing of Savannah Bond's life. Oh, there yeah. There was a mention of Porn Valley. What's Porn Valley? Uh, I guess it's the valley, which is where I live, I think. Right, Kaylee? Yeah. So it's like where they shoot like most of the movies, a lot of the porn houses there, a lot of the porn stars live there because it's convenient to go to work. So that's where I moved right away when I came mm. over from Australia. So it's kind of like what Joe Rogan trying to do in comedy with Austin, except it's porn in the valley. Yeah. Okay, cool. Bless him. What? Bless Joe. Bless. Bless Joe. Yeah. <laughs> You're a Joe Rogan fan. Um, yeah, I like him. Who doesn't? It's Joe Rogan. Yeah, he's funny. I don't know what you said. I couldn't hear in your Australian accent if you said "bless Joe" or not. Bless, yeah. Bless Joe. <laughs> oh, I have a lot of questions about this. I'm excited about this. So we mentioned this before, actually, back in your day when you were in uh in the beautiful motherland in Australia down under. You mm. were a stripper. You were an exotic dancer. Yeah. Tell me about that. Um. So I wanted to do it since I was like super young, and I had a few boyfriends that were like, no. Um, I don't want you to do that, blah, blah, blah. And then I became Pussies. like, huh? Pussies. Yeah, we, right. And then I, um, started doing it at like, um, maybe like 24 and it was really fun. I loved it. Like it was like a party every weekend. What's your uh, most fond memory of stripping? Um, so there was like a, <laughs> a fill group. me in. I want to hear about the stripping days. Oh my God. So a bunch of guys came in that were, it was like a box night. And I was, like, drunk because I would always drink at work because, like, you kind of have to because you're going to be, like, very talkative. Same. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very – it's like a party. So if you're sober, it's kind hey. of, like, Same. boring. Yeah. And sometimes you'll have to dance for, like, a long time. And alcohol kind of gives you energy. Can't confirm. Yeah. So um, they, like, wanted a show from me, like, a private show. Um, and, like, you're not allowed to, like, have sex or anything in the clubs in Australia because the police come in all the time. But I, I don't know, I was, like, lit. And they were, like, all hot. And I was, like, you guys should all finger me. And they did. And it was really hot. A group bloke kinda... night? They all fingered you? A group bloke night? Yeah. How like, many guys could get in there at one time? Like, they, like, shared me. just word back and forth. Went back and forth. Yeah. And then I was, like, fuck, I can't believe I did that. But it, it was hot. It was hot. Yeah. And then they're like guys, like some of them like come through their pants as well. Ooh, I feel like that happens a lot at strip clubs. Yeah. Did they pay, extra, like, did they pay extra though to finger you? Uh, I don't know. Like, just for the love of the game? Yeah. <laughs> do it for the fam. So a few of the guys came through their pants though? Um, I Probably like two over the four years that I did it. Yeah. And Ooh. that was crazy to me. And what, just your lap dances? Yeah. Which is really hot. I think it's so hot. Were you good at lap dancing? Yeah, I don't think it's, like, that hard to do, but I have, like, a good rhythm when the music comes on. <laughs> well, what, were you, uh, what would you normally dance to? Mm, whatever they would play at the club, like, anything. Because you can't, like, always select what you want to listen to. to make your own playlist? No. What's the best strip song of all time? Oh. Maybe, like, Pour It Out by Rihanna. Yeah, pour it up, pour it up. Pour it up, pour it up. That's nice a good one. one. I like Crazy Bitch by Buck Cherry. Okay. Hey, you're a crazy bitch, but you fuck so good. I'm on top of it. When I dream. <laughs> Ever hear that song? Yeah, it sounds familiar. Or like uh, Cherry Pie by Ward. Oh, uh, yeah. Jeez, yeah, that's always cherry on. Cherry Pie. Anything else? <sighs> Pony. Mm -hmm. Pony uh, Genuine. How's that go? Oh, uh, yeah. Bow. <laughs> bow. Bow. <laughs> bow. 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 Mm. No, that's that, that, that's, that's it. about it. Yeah, we just named four good ones. Yeah. So um, yeah. So you made two guys come through uh, come through their pants, and you never <laughs> had sex at the strip club that wasn't allowed. No, a lot of them would try, and they would be like, "Oh, I'll give you more, whatever." But blah, blah, blah. like, it's not what I was trying to do. Kaylee told me to ask about uh, multiple dicks in your ass. Oh yeah. <laughs> How'd that go? <laughs> just casually. Um, it was intense. Um, how many dicks are we talking? Two. In the same time? Yeah. So I have always, like, done um, anal pretty much from the start of my career. And I wanted to do double anal. And I really enjoy anal. But that, um, I enjoyed it as, like, performance. But it was it was difficult. What was difficult about it? Uh, just, like, the stretching of that area. Did you have to do any prep before? Yeah. I don't usually really prep, like, stretch that area. Like, I just kind of, like, open up because I, I like it so my body relaxes. But for that, it was, like, two big, like, black dicks. And it was, um, it was, like, having a baby. What did you do for the prep? 
Um, I just like, so you can get like dilator kits, they're like butt plugs and they go from like small to like large sizes. So I just did that. Nothing out of the ordinary. Maybe I should have done more mm -hmm. to make it better, but it, it worked. Now, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but can you envision with your hands how big of a hole you had to make? No. No? I'm not like, doing like, that. Like that big? <laughs> Start here. <laughs> Start here yeah. and come in. <laughs> um, yeah, but it, it's um, also for the camera. Like, the whole dicks aren't going in. It's like the tip of the dick. So... Oh, it's only just the tip of the dick. Well, it's hard to get them all, like, well, I was both, just saying, are they like, multiple inches in there at the same time? A lot time? of girls do triple anal. So. Trip, they got triple anals? They do. I don't know that. Yeah. Wow. The thing. Extreme. <laughs> Um, the other thing Kaylee told me to ask you about is, uh, once again, I know this. Thank God you have an up. assistant. I, well, I, she said she was your best friend. So I was like, oh, let me text her, see if you got anything. Yeah, yeah. No, she that's She said good. you got to ask her about golden showers. Oh, yeah. Um, How'd you get into that? So, like I said, I'm like a super sexual person and I'm open to doing like, like a lot of things. And I, I don't know, like, <laughs> what are you drinking? Uh, drink. <laughs> you drank that so fast as I'm talking about this. <laughs> Why are you correlating that with you talking about this? I don't piss? know. It just came to mind. I don't know. I just wanted to drink the drink. Is that okay with you? It's Friday. Um. Yeah. So what do you want to know about it? Like, I just like, like it. Who, who requests, like, who, did a guy ask you first? Or you were like, no, pee on me first. Um. So I, I worked for a company called Disciples of Desire. They're, like, known for being, mm. like, super hardcore. Um. And then, yeah, one of the performers, Jack Slayer, was like, do you, can we do this? And I was like, yeah, for sure. And now? And I've done it. I've done it in probably like, I don't know, six videos. Now, are they, are they just peeing on you or are they peeing in your mouth? Yeah, like all over my face, in, in my mouth. mouth. Like you're opening your mouth more? And swallow it. And you swallow it? Yeah. Sometimes. But I only do it with like select people. You got mouthwash on set? Yeah. <laughs> Must be a weird time brushing your teeth after that, huh? Mm, no, not really. No? I mean, like bodily fluids don't scare me. I guess that makes sense. I mean, how different could pee and cum really be? Yeah, it's just like a thing. Like I don't know. But do, do we have to destigmatize drinking piss? Uh, no. I mean, it's not for everyone. <laughs> do we have to destigmatize it? It's not for everyone. But I feel like everyone could like it. Interesting. So would you would you encourage girls that are scared to do it to do it or not? Uh, no. I would advise them to do whatever they feel comfortable with. Your body, with your doing. choice. Yes. There we go. <laughs> for sure. Um, when did Savannah Bond lose her virginity? Um, when I was 18. Eight, you went to you were 18? Yeah. Can you, can you fill us in on the story? Um, it's so... It's like hearing about when Babe Ruth did his first home run. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was, like, Catholic. I went to church and everything like that. And then, um, I lived in a kind of, like, an isolated area. And then I moved to the city and I met this guy. And he was my boyfriend. And we had sex. And it was really good. And he's still, like... He's so hot. Like, it was, like, the perfect, like... You know how you're like, oh, I want my first to be, like, good. It was oh, good. I wanted your first to be, like, with somebody you loved? Yeah. That's so cute. Yeah. How long did you wait to do it after you met him? What's the appropriate Ooh, time? I wouldn't say that's an appropriate time. Whenever you're ready. I can't remember. Maybe, like, a couple of weeks. I think that's fair. Yeah. Let's do some tweets, Bond. Okay. Um, You tweeted one day, I'd rather be drinking cum over coffee. <laughs> how much cum are you drinking? Well, we did discuss that. I'm saying on um, average. But I like to swallow the cum. Do, if, you, do you ever spit the cum? I mean, I probably have, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Would you venture to say that you were then a quitter? Oh, yeah, they call it like a cum dodger. Or I've heard spitters or quitters. I've never heard of a cum dodger. I mean, that's more, that's yeah, more, that's, that sounds very World War II. No, like I'm you were dodging porn, dress. They'll be like, just to make sure, like, you know, like, because sometimes when the guy comes, you're like, oh, like a bit like taken back. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, no, I, I don't know. I feel like coming in porn is mostly on the face, right? Yeah, it is. Um, or like in the mouth. But I have had my fans say like, oh, she never swallows the cum. And I'm like, it's not always up to me. Because usually, yeah, they just want it on Director's the face. choice. Yeah. Sometimes I'll like rub it in and like put it in my is mouth. This guy's face moisturizer? Yeah. I like cool. that. The natural, the natural like ingredients. The feeling in it. Yeah, it'll really eating. make your face glow, you know? Yeah. Interesting. Let's say let's say Savannah Bond's having sex for the last time though. Oh, where is it going? Where's it going? Oh, I knew right away. Can you guess? On your tits? <laughs> oh, come on. Mouth? Swallow? <laughs> your this is your last sex of all time. 
Cream pie. Oh, I, I don't know that. You knew. I knew. 100%. What's yeah. the definition of a cream pie? They come in your pussy. Oh, I thought that's I thought that that's like when you come on on the pussy. I'm glad you're learning today. So it's when you just isn't the, you're just saying come inside. Yeah. Oh, then why is there a definition for that? Why don't you just say I want to come inside you? Cream pie, like I thought ways. that was like when you like literally like, come on the actual vagina itself. That's really hot too. Yeah, that's what I was envisioning. Like cream warm. pie, because then you could see it. That seems more cream pie. -y. Yeah, for Maybe a visual, we should change I guess. the definition. That's more of like a glaze. Like a yeah, that's fair. Yeah, it's a glazing. You're so horny, dude. No, I'm that not. was such a that was such a horny. I'm in there. horny. It's, a glaze. it's, it's okay. Hey, same, dude. Ugh. It's Friday. We all are. Fuck. So final cum of all time for Savannah Bond, cream mm -hmm. pie. Yeah, it's very romantic and intimate and just beautiful. Okay. The next thing I had written down, we already figured out, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. You did tweet. Um, my pussy is nonstop wet. I need cock every single day. <laughs> but we're now no. We now know you're a month sober. You're a mm. month sober off cock. Yeah. You'll break your sobriety soon, though. I will, yeah. Okay. Um, you also tweeted, um, wow, I came eight times today. Is that your all-time record of coming in a day? Eight, yeah. Did the ocho come? The what? The ocho come. What is that? It's that in Spanish, it's that eight. Huh? It's how you say eight in Spanish. Oh, sorry. So eight comes in a day? Mm-hmm. Do you don't know, remember the day exactly that it was? Honestly, like, I come a lot, usually. I'll always come, like, twice a day, at mm -hmm. least. How um, often are you, um, actual masturbating just for the love of the game, like, not on camera? Yeah, every day. Always. How many um, times Probably, a day? like, twice, three times. Those are my stats, too. I think that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think two to three a day. <laughs> no, I'm with you. Two to three a day. I think, I think it's a proper... I don't know if that's too much. Is that too much? No. If I'm, like, really, really horny, sometimes, like, four. A four? That's, that's like, high school numbers for me. Yeah. That's, like, summer of 2013. You get I was going four a day. <laughs> Testosterone driving. Oh yeah. Um. People ask me why I don't drive in LA. First of all, I write the horniest tweets and text in Ubers, and Leslie, the hottest guy I ever fucked, was an Uber driver. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Give me the story. Um. So I was in Australia. I was on like a little holiday, and yeah, the Uber driver picked me up. He was very attractive, and he was like a he worked at like a gym and we were like chatting at the end of the drive he was like oh like if you while well, you're here on your holiday like if you want to do like a workout we can and i was like okay i'll get your Ooh, number workout yeah no he, he i think he was like genuine about that and i was like wow he's really hot so i texted him and i was like staying at, like a nice hotel and i was like just come and fuck me and just then come and do a workout with me mm. And he did. And he let me, like, film it, too. It's on my OnlyFans. Oh, really? Yeah. After this episode comes out, you should put it out there for, like, a half-off price. Oh, that's a great idea. Not just a hat rack, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> sales. Not just a hat rack Soul over here, Bond. Sales. <laughs> Trying to make you rich. Yeah. Are you rich? I mean, I don't really think that I would, like, answer that and be like, yeah, I'm rich. Like, that doesn't sound... You're rich. Like, would you say that? Rich. I'm not rich. You're rich. If I was rich, I'd say I'm rich. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Anyway, I hope you and your driver had fun. Um, you would hope so. Like I yeah, do I, all I, this. I just want you to have fun. That's all. Yeah. Oh, the fun. Yeah. Always having fun. Um. Next thing you tweeted, which we just figured this out actually, <laughs> but you did tweet. I love having my huge titties glazed. Oh yeah. See? Exactly. That that's interesting because I did have that written down. I love having my huge titties glazed. So. Let's rank best places to come on Savannah Bond. Okay. There's four spots. Um, so, Tits, yeah. mouth, cream pie. Anything else? Um, like my favorite? Yeah. Mm. Uh, like on my feet feels good. Like okay, on my so, soles. so rank them. Tits, mouth. It depends on the mood. Cream pie, foot. Depends on the mood. Like. It's Saturday night and you're getting it on. Give me the ranking. Yeah, boobs. Like, or anywhere. Like, I love when you're just, like, fucking the guy's like, oh, I've got to come. And it just goes, like, all over your stomach and, like, shoots up. Okay. Yeah. I like it everywhere. I don't know. Do, do you like getting come? Do you like in your tits glazed or it's more just for the guy? Um, Probably more for the guy. But I do like it. You tweeted recently, reminder, colon, eat his ass. Mm. Is that a necessity? It is not a necessity at all. But Do you find that guys like it more than when you don't? I feel like guys that like it, they really like it. Or a lot of guys will be like, maybe not comfortable to admit that they like it. And then a lot of girls say like, oh, no, it's gay. Or it's like, um, not masculine of them. But it feels good, clearly. It seems so, like a lot of guys that I know that do it seem to like it a lot. 
Yeah, and I think that's great. And I really like doing it because I can tell how much they like it when it's happening. Are you one of those gals that, that gets off more on the guy having a good time? Yeah. Same. Not the guy, the girl. What I'd happened say. to us? Like, we don't love ourselves enough, right? What? I feel like that's like a self-love thing, though, because I wish I could be more selfish, but selfish. But I don't know. I just oh, like, it hypes me up when you're like, oh, I'm doing good here. Yeah, yeah. I guess it that's hypes, like, it hypes myself up. I guess that's like human nature, too. Like, pleasing yeah. people, their yeah. reactions. Um, next up, you tweeted, anyone know how I could get rid of the hickey on my lip ASAP? It felt so fucking good at the time, but now I look insane. Yeah. How'd you get a hickey on your lip? Yeah, that was really interesting. I was like fucking my neighbor and we we're like rewind. Up. How'd you and your neighbor start fucking? Uh, he. What did you? What did you? I just what like did you water your plants and then you like oh come in. It took a while. It took like a year for me to fuck him, and then we like started having sex a lot. But yeah, we were just kissing, and I was like bite my lip. I was like drunk, and I was like do it harder. And then I don't think I felt how hot it was. Mm -hmm. And then yeah, I woke up and it was like black and i couldn't cover it that's tough that's tough for dinner it was hot though worth it was it worth it? how long did it stay for mm, probably like a week oh yeah. that's awesome okay cool <laughs> um you mean the leader tree did grab his dick under the table at dinner yeah how often are you doing that i mean it's such a fantasy like <laughs> not often do you have like a public sex fantasy yeah do you like go to dinner fuck in the bathroom and then you have you done out, that like, before um, yeah, I have at a bar, not at dinner. Which bar? In Australia, in Melbourne. Okay. Yeah. And it was like, like it was a crowded bar? Yeah, it was like dark though, like dark vibes. Um, yeah, he just like bent me over in the bathroom. In the stall? Mm. That's all American as it gets. Yeah, I got to do that again. I want to do the change room thing too. Ooh, okay. And I noticed the change room at Nordstrom here. Ooh, yeah, that'd be Good great. Spot. Re really give Nordstrom room for their money. They would, they would love that. <laughs> Yeah. Um. What is your? So what is that? The biggest public sex thing you've done ever in your life? The bar uh, in Australia. No, I uh, professionally, I have done like something kind of like more crazy for sure. Um. You know, like the Tesla, they have like the wings. They they open up so you can see everything. Yes. So I was like in the Tesla driving around in downtown LA. Someone was driving, and then I was like fucking a guy in the back, and it was for a video. Um. And it was during the day. So you fucked a guy in a Tesla? Yeah, during the day with the, the awesome. doors up. Well, Elon Musk trip. would be so proud of that. Yeah. That would be, that's huge for him. Slay. I'm going to go to the moon for free. Yeah, I think I would think you want to go to the moon for free if you're fucking this Tesla. It's pretty good. It's good marketing for Tesla. Mm, I think so. I saw you tweet a couple weeks ago who was coming to see Drake with me. Oh, yeah. Did you go see the Drake concert? Yeah, I did. How'd you get tickets? Someone DM'd me. Who DM'd you? Um... I wouldn't say their name, but I was like hoping that someone would DM me. Oh, and just then, bring you to the concert? Yeah. Do you think you do you think you'd find a guy attractive that shot a video with Drake? Would you find make that more attractive if they did a YouTube video with him? They got what? like eight million views. What? But is that just something you'd find more attractive? If they did, wait, ask the question. Would you find somebody more attractive if they shot a video with Drake? No. No. Oh, like clout vibes? Like, yeah, yeah. Would you just find it more attractive? No, no. No? Okay. Just wondering. Oh, you shot a video with Drake? <laughs> <laughs> just wondering. That's cool, though. No, just wondering. It was, just, it was, cool. it was just a question. I don't know, know if that would be better for clout or stuff. Just, just wondering. <sighs> Whatever. Moving on. Um, You tweeted, um, can somebody please buy me a new Ferrari or SUV? Thanks. Any takers? Anybody buy it? No, and then when the no. when I saw the picture of the Ferrari F SUV, I was like, "Oh no!" So, what's the biggest thing someone's bought you out of love for Savannah Mon? Honestly, like I have not received anything special, and I'm not. You and I both know that's bullshit. No, for real. You and I both know that's bullshit. No, it's because Bond. I'm not nice to like people I don't know. People you don't know. I'm not mean, but I just like, I don't, I think because like I was like a dancer and I had to be nice to people for so long and be like all over them. It just like now I'm like, I just don't have There like, are strippers in Wheeling, West Virginia that have guys buy them stuff for them. Someone's bought you stuff before. Honestly, no, I'm not sure why. I just buy my own stuff. Okay. Yeah. Moving on. I wish they did. If anyone wants to buy me if stuff. If anyone wants to buy her a Ferrari. I have my friend Kaylee. Her, her Twitter is at Savannah Mon Triple X. But she's like super nice and like. Oh, you're not nice? No, I am nice, but it's different. Like, I don't know. Um, Next up, to the fan that got my number at the basketball at the basketball game, hurry up and text me. You're so hot. I want to fuck you. 
Oh, yeah. Did he ever text you? Yeah. Did you fuck him? Um, so he spoke to me, like, for, like, six months and then was like, oh, I just want to let you know that I'm not fucking you because I have a girlfriend. And I what was a like, classy guy. Ugh. Is that yeah, classy, though? That's six, that's six months of emotional cheating. Is that classy or is it not? Uh, I think he was probably like, oh, fuck, like, that's, that's one of my six favorite months of emotional stuff. cheating. Yeah, emotional cheating, way worse than Way real worse cheating. than real cheating. Yep. Agreed. I agree. So do you, so now after you've experienced that, do you not think of that guy as a good guy or a bad guy even after six months of emotional cheating? Um, I don't think he's bad because he didn't really like, it wasn't like constant talking. It was just like. A yeah, but bit if the roles were reversed, I think I'd be more mad at him talking. I would be, if I had a girlfriend, I'd be more mad at her, mad at her talking to a guy for six months and maybe getting drunk and banging a guy at a basketball game. Yeah. Yeah. I think I agree with that for sure. Because sex is sex, but the talking is like deep. The talking is a real emotional connection. Yeah. You know? Wow. Look at us getting, look at us getting emotional on here. I'm gonna start crying. Are you gonna start crying? No. I'm gonna kick somebody's ass for you. Yeah. You tell me. I'll let you know. You tell me. Who. I'll take that bloke out. Thank you. <laughs> um, last thing you tweeted: good manners are really fucking hot. Mm -hmm. What what are, what are good manners? That think of. Um, when you well, think of good I was brought up to say like thank you and please, and then I noticed like. <laughs> You're begging guys that don't say thank you or please. No, no, not guys. Just like people in general. Like when I first moved here, I met a girl. And she was just like, like, she wouldn't say thank you to the waiter, like, just like stuff like that. And I'm like, why would you not be polite? It's so easy. I was just about to say, so picture this, Savannah Bond's at dinner. You're at Nobu Malibu. Yeah. With the hottest guy you ever met in your life. He's <laughs> rich. He's got a house in the hills. Mm -hmm. He's driving a Lamborghini. <laughs> You're at Nobu Malibu. Yeah. He doesn't say thank you to the waiter. You still fucking him? It would be a little turn off for sure. So you'd still fuck him? Yeah, probably. But it's a turn Guess off. Guess who the manager that fucking hot then, huh? It's a turn off. Whatever, Bond. On that note, we're done here. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, hey, Savannah, thank you for coming on. This was a wonderful time. One of my favorite episodes we shot in a while. We almost did a steady two hours, near two hours. Whoa, really? Yeah. That it would be real by. fun to fucking edit it, huh? I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to edit a two-hour podcast. But hey, thank you for coming all the way from Los Angeles for this wonderful occasion. I'm glad. I love New York so By much. way of Australia. Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Let's have a little drink to finish Happy this off. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. <laughs> Summer's winding down, huh? Mm. Summer's winding down. Like oh, you, want to, you want to do the, the, the lady in the trap? Is this thing? like a European thing? <laughs> romantic, that so was. So tasty. That was so romantic. <laughs> Those are really alcoholic, horny versions of Lady in the Trap.